which you must quote. Can explain. Yeah. And I think just in addition to that, uh, there are mechanisms in which uh, that are established under the regulations of IEBC that IEBC can engage with the political parties. Just uh, two days ago, uh, I represented UDA uh, at the IEBC center at BOMAS where they simulated the result transmission system. Those are the assurances that we need. It's a formal engagement. Just yesterday, I spent the morning together with the uh, other representatives of UDA and the representatives of Azimio and confirmed uh, the process in which they are loading the Kim's kit with the, with the electronic register, they are loading the application and the result transmission system. So yes, if we want any assurance, it's not by um, uh, intercepting uh, IEBC officials at the airport. Even now, we are still expecting that IEBC will hold the next meeting with us and explain to us what assurances they have. And remember, when it comes to delivery of ballot boxes, we are entitled as those political parties to get a parking list. If it is the barcodes that were seen at the airport, we are entitled to ask for a dispatch list at the time uh, closer to the election. So we still can have, as long as those safeguards exist, I think we can be safe. But what we are appealing is for IBC to be given an opportunity to do their work without being harassed. Excellent. Can we end there? We are done. Thank you. Thank you.